right, today's plan. We're going to undo six bolts. Three down in the bowels of the engine, holding the engine mount on, on this side, and three on the other side. And then we're going to fit these new engine mounts. So, the plan is to undo six bolts, support the engine, and, uh, and see what happens. And we'll probably end up using one of these. We'll let you know I'm how we get on. preparing for the worst case scenario, yeah, because we're <laughs> going to need the blow <laughs> We'll let you know how we get on. Both sides now. Have you got the spanner? Is it spinning, is it? Have you got the spanner? Um, yeah, 14 mil spanner. Yeah. Well, we'll make the assumption, yeah. See if you can get that on. Well, that was relatively painless. Yeah, don't worry, the rest won't be. Go on then. There we go. That's the main bolt out. Three down, three to go. Oh, well. This is the easy side, however. Nice luck now. Right, we've got all, well, we've got five of the six bolts nuts off the, um, the mounts. The two larger ones that hold the engine to the mounts are off, so we're now at the point of lifting the engine. Really? Hmm. When I do this, the car goes up. It might take a while for the engine to sort of juggle itself free. Um, everything else is still connected, and the gearbox is still connected as well. Hmm. So, right, signing off now, and we're going to get on with it, um, and we'll let you know how we get on. As you can see, we're part way successful. Um, going to try and get this mount swapped, take this one out. Uh, the minute the gearbox is supported on the jack around the corner, there's the jack handle and the gearbox is supported on the jack down there and we've got the engine just held up on that crane. Down this side however because as you can probably gather looking at all those tubes and pipes and the like, it, the access is pretty bad so we're going to continue on, try and get one side out, and then I think it might be time for a break. Hey, we have down there a new engine mount. Um, we've got two of the three bolts in, the rearmost one. I can't get in at the minute, well we can't get in because you just can't get access and it's not sitting down where it should. The old engine mount is here and it is a little bit, there we go, it is a little bit damaged as you can see and uh, tired but Probably in better nick than I thought it was going to be. So, time for a brew. Will it turn? Will it, will it no. sort of thread it? Will it? Yeah. Well. 
How difficult was that on a scale of 0 to 10? Not, oh my god, oh my god, and we're on oh my god at the time. <laughs> Alright. Kind of came out easy bit there. Eh? Yeah, well you normally turn up when the work's done. Right. <laughs> we have two engine mounts in, and uh, most of the original bolts, uh, the the last bolt, the rear one on this side, is actually a 13mm, not a 14mm. And there's the two knackered engine mounts. We put the 13 mm in temporarily because we couldn't get the 14 mm in. Um, having lost it, we tried a replacement bolt that turned out to be too big. And when we found the original bolt, it was sitting on top of the diff. There is the original bolt. So, <sighs> it's in. Um, yes. We now just need to put back together. Yeah, just need to tighten everything up, pull a filler full of fluids and uh, and stuff, and then see if she runs. And um, it's still raining for those meteorologists among you. Got a little bit of tidying up done on the throttle uh, body. The new engine mounts are in. It's not vibrating anywhere near what it used to. Still a bit of movement under acceleration, as you can tell. But I'm just running her up to temperature to see if the top hose gets hot. Hopefully it will, and hopefully we've got no air loss. I've also put the old battery from the uh, stager in because that's a lot bigger and uh, she starts a damn sight quicker and a damn sight better. So, all good so far. <laughs> <laughs> 